Hello and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. Before we get stuck into today's video, I wanted to say a massive thank you for all of the support on the 2021 setup tour and for nearly 25,000 subscribers. I would also love to invite you all to join my Discord server to chat with like-minded people and myself, the link for that is down in the description and I hope to see you there. So let's get into this. As you can probably already tell, this is a desk that has been kindly sent out to me by a company called Flexispot. But this isn't any ordinary desk, this is a height adjustable standing desk, and with the current global situation, there are likely more people working from home now than ever before, so having a proper workspace that is flexible to your needs and requirements is very important. This particular model is the Standing Desk 2 Stage Rectangular Desk Frame, which has a code name of EF1 on their website. Flexispot also kindly sent out one of their mahogany curved desktops which measures 140cm by 70cm. You can also get their desktops in many other variations, such as black, white, maple, grain and walnut, all of which are visible via the website that I've linked down in the description. The first thing I really noticed when unboxing the desk frame was that all of the components felt very sturdy and well made, which is obviously a good sign. Also included we had the electronic height adjuster and all of the required cables and tools aside from a drill which is recommended later on in the building process. Speaking of which, the building process was thankfully pretty straightforward, aside from one of the pre-drilled holes was slightly misshapen which required a little more effort, but honestly aside from that it was a painless process, although some of the parts are actually quite heavy so it might be handy to get some assistance if you do plan on getting one of these. So whilst I run through some of the building process, I'm going to highlight some of the advantages and the disadvantages of a standing desk like this one. For the advantages, I'm not a medical expert by any means, but by finding a balance between sitting and standing throughout the day, it's obviously better for you than just sitting all day. And thanks to the complete control over the height of the desk, it is suitable for anyone of any height. According to some quick research as well, standing at your desk can lower the risk of weight gain, lower blood sugar levels and lower your risk of heart disease, and probably the most obvious of all, it's able to reduce back pain, because let's face it, sitting at the desk for 8 or more hours per day is really not ideal. As well as all of this, having a standing desk can apparently improve your mood and energy levels, as well as potentially increasing your productivity, although there is a lack of evidence in this area. Aside from the health benefits, standing desks are also fantastic for certain types of craft work and tinkering. For example, this desk will be used by me for PC building projects and so on due to its versatility. So quickly taking a look at the disadvantages, there are some that come to mind which are practicality issues. For example, I personally love having drawers either side of my desk for quick access material and it's not feasible with a standing desk. In addition to this, obviously this desk is powered and therefore you need to run and hide cables which isn't always easy with something that is height adjustable. Just imagine for example that your PC power cable isn't long enough when you raise your desk and it gets pulled off the side. Not ideal at all. In addition to this, as with prolonged sitting, standing for long periods of time is also not good, so finding a balance is the ideal scenario. After everything was set up, it was time to test it out. The control panel with the LCD screen sits flush against the underside of the desk and has a manual raise and lower option with the arrows. You can also create custom presets with numbers 1 to 4 to ensure that you get the perfect height quickly and easily. In regards to the specification of the desk, it has an adjustable height of between 71cm and 121cm, which is excluding the tabletop height. It has a lift speed of 2.5cm per second and a weight capacity of 70kg. Here's a short clip of the desk's mechanism in action so you get an idea of how it works and how it sounds. Now I don't know about you, but I was personally pretty impressed with the smoothness and ease of the mechanism. The desk remains sturdy even when elevated to its highest setting and is also much quieter than I expected it to be. There's no loud clunking sounds, it's just a smooth rumble so it's not too distracting for a home office or a workplace. In regards to the pricing, I really do think you get what you pay for. The frame is going to set you back £249.99 and is available in black, grey or white, with the worktops ranging from £79.99 all the way up to £139.99. You can also use your own custom worktop in conjunction with the frame, which can support desktop sizes from 100cm to 160cm wide and 50cm to 80cm deep. Although the product has kindly been sent out to me, this is my honest opinion of the product and if you have any questions about it, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please drop a like and consider subscribing as it really does help the channel out. 
I've got a lot more tech content on the way shortly so stay tuned and also a brand new setup series which I'll probably unveil soon. Thank you all for your time and I hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.